Hey folks, Prepper Princess. This video is going to be about the methods that Dave Ramsey does that I do not follow or have not followed. And to be honest with you, I feel a little bit guilty like I'm doing something wrong by not following his steps perfectly. So in my early 20s, as you guys know, I had a whole huge debt thing. And I had already begun what Dave Ramsey would call the debt snowball Rocky cameo. But I didn't fall into Dave Ramsey until after I had already gotten out of debt. So when, you know, things got really bad, I immediately got a second job, started getting rid of debt, rid of debt, rid of debt. Um, I didn't even keep an emergency fund at the time. He says to keep a $1,000 emergency fund. I had nothing. I was keeping, I was paying every single cent towards my credit card, my car, and my student loans. Um, good boy. But... Uh, a couple of the things that he states is that you should not have a credit card, not have a car loan, and I have both of those. So um, my credit card is a Fidelity Rewards card. A lot of people ask about it. And for every purchase you make, you get 2% cash back put into a Roth. So my thinking with that is that, well, first of all, I don't make regular purchases with it. I put all of my bills on it. So um, the water, garbage, Netflix, um, whatever bill I come up with, you know, household bills. I don't go grocery shopping. I don't use it for gas. I don't use it for emergencies. I rarely even have it in my wallet. Most of the time it's stuck in a drawer at my house. But I do keep the credit card on hand and I make about two to three hundred dollars per year uh, just with rewards that go, again, into a, an IRA. Uh, if you guys are interested, just look up fidelityrewards.com and you can apply for a credit card on that website. I will try and... I'll, I'll leave the link in the description box and I know that there's orbs flying around me. They're a little bit distracting, but uh, I'll tell you what, you guys should count them and see place the number of how many you see in the comment section. The second thing that I did was I took out a car loan. Uh, Dave Ramsey says never take out a car loan. Um, and I do technically have the cash to pay for the car in a CD. Um, the CD is currently in a two-year CD, but the problem is, is that the penalty for withdrawing early is $500. The entire interest I will pay on the life of the loan would have been $450 if I did the full two-year term, um, I plan on paying off the car in six months to one year, so that would be half of the interest, $250, so I would technically be losing money if I took the cash out of a CD to pay for the car. But I do have the money on hand to pay for the car if I needed to. I just choose not to do that because it would technically be a loss of money. Uh, for most people, having a credit card, which I completely agree, seven or I believe it's up to 78% out of 100 people, 100% of people who have a credit card carry a credit card balance. My credit card gets paid off bi-weekly. My car payment is something around $500. I don't know what the car payment is, something around $500, but I pay $1,000 per month. Um, and I also think that the car loan doesn't really apply to people who have no other debt and a paid off mortgage. So that is something to take into consideration too. I'm not making excuses. I still sort of feel like I'm doing something wrong by having a car loan and having a credit card, but it's just something where the Dave Ramsey plan, while it works for every, almost everyone, it doesn't work for me completely. And that's something that I like to teach is that take what you can and leave the rest. So if something in the plan doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. And there's not really much you can do except to work your way around that. When it comes to the car, a lot of people are asking me about the car. Um, the car is a great car. It's very, it is rated the most reliable car. It's a 2015 Toyota Corolla Sport. It gets 47 miles to the gallon on the highway, I believe. My Camry, which was 20 years old, um, unfortunately, if I were to get that repaired, uh, let me go into a little bit of explanation on the repair of the Camry. So the Camry had gotten me through 300 miles of desert. I stopped at a gas station, filled up on gas because I thought I was still an hour away from my destination. My GPS was still on Pacific time and it hadn't converted into mountain time. So I thought that I was still an hour or a hundred miles away, I don't remember exactly, from my destination. So I filled up on gas, topped off the tank, 
pulled out of the park or the gas station parking lot and the check engine light went on and it started running really strange. Um, I pulled over and a tow truck driver, <laughs> I believe he took about two, two and a half hours to get there because he couldn't find me. Why? Because I had an old style flip phone and not an iPhone or a smartphone. So <laughs> I've been really stubborn uh, in keeping my old phone because I didn't want to pay extra or pay a higher monthly charge for a smartphone. And I'm not one of those people who is glued to their phone all the time, checking their Facebook, checking their emails, doing all those sort of things. So all of the extra features aren't something that I really wanted. Uh, but the tow truck driver told me if you would have had a smartphone, I would have been here in 10 minutes. The way it works is that it bounces off the nearest cell tower when you have a flip phone. So the only thing he could do was find the nearest cell tower, and I wasn't at an address that anyone could find. So that didn't work out, and so it took him a really long time to find me. And he said if I had a smartphone, I would have showed up as a, as a little beep on his radar, and all I would have had to do was follow the, the dot. And essentially he would have been to me in a few minutes. So for safety's sake, I upgraded my phone the way I said I never would, uh, because I don't want to be stuck out in the middle of the desert again in regards to repairing the Camry. So I took it to the local Toyota dealership. I had it towed, and they said they'd get back to me, and they got back to me, and they said that the transmission was completely blown up. They gave me the option of a $3,000 used transmission that already had 130,000 miles on it, or a new transmission, which I believe would have cost five or $6,000, and it would have taken a week for them to receive the new transmission or the used transmission, and another week to install it. I was only there for four days. So even if I were to get the Camry repaired, which would have cost six times the value of the vehicle itself, the trade-in value of the Camry was $650 in perfect working order. Because the transmission was blown, I only got a $250 trade-in. But when it comes to paying six times the cost of the value of the vehicle itself, you're making a very poor financial decision if you decide to keep that car running. I am, do not regret getting my Toyota Corolla. It is a beautiful car. It's got great features. It's also rated one of the most reliable, and it gets amazing gas mileage. My Camry had a 15-gallon 15 15 tank, and it took me about 400 miles. My Corolla has a 12-gallon tank, and it also takes me 400 miles. So same distance, but three gallons less per fill-up. So it's not going to balance out to what I paid for the Corolla, which was $14,250. But it is going to give me a reliable car, hopefully for another 20 years. My Camry was 20 years old. Um, I do not have the sentimental attachment to my Corolla that I did to my Camry, but it's a working, amazing car. And believe it or not, the, um, the car that I have now was, the, was cheaper than my first car, which was I bought when I was 18 years old for $16,000. It was a Kia Sophia. I also read after the fact that I purchased the new vehicle that uh, rich people, which is what I am uh, attaining to become, rich people typically buy or purchase cars that are three years old or older. Just so happens this car was three years old, and I think I made a really good financial decision in doing so. That was a lot of words. <laughs> All right, do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.